Hi, what I wanted to do is I wanted to clarify some things regarding how to get the edges here because I don't think I did that too well with the um, um, with the previous square one tutorial. Uh, so first thing to do is of course define our sides. We're gonna hold it from, from this standpoint. And let's say the yellow's on the top and the white is on the bottom. So what's a good way of doing it? Well, you can try to position it, but you might find yourself in a situation where that, that's not gonna be possible. So the way that I'm gonna do it is exactly like a two by, uh, exactly like a, a two by two by three. Um, ignoring the edges and just placing the corners. So if this is the white side, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna position things so that I can match white. So I wanna look for the white, red, well, here's the white and red over here. And I'm gonna do this exactly like the, um, um, the tower cubes. I'm gonna hold it over here and I'm gonna be moving this down to here and in so doing it's gonna flip that around. So remember that in order to translate any algorithms from uh, the square ones, from the towers to the square ones, you have to quote prime it. So I'm just gonna prime it this way and do the algorithm that moves it down here, which is 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And that's where it's gonna be, right over here. It's gonna create parity in the middle, doesn't matter. We'll just move it across here. Now I'm gonna be looking for the other white and green, which is over here. So 2R, U, 2R, UI 2R, so there that is. Might as well move that back here. Turn this over here and I have one more left to go, which is this guy. So same thing, move that down here. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, and there that is over here. So I hope that kind of clarifies how to get that back. Now if, I, if you want to get the center back, that's easy too. Just hold it over here and just go 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, and you'll get the center back. And that's how you move all the corners up to where they're supposed to be. And then from there, of course, you finish the solve accordingly. In this case, all these are in place. By doing that, you're gonna put all of these in place down over here, so all we have to do is the corner swapping. And then you can start doing the sandwich algorithm and all that good stuff. So for here, uh, we'll just move in this in over here, so 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. This gets turned, this gets, whoops, turned. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And then that brings it back. I just organize it like that. So, so basically that's another way of getting the corners in. So I hope that clarifies things with that one. Uh, next stop, I think I might go after the super square one.